Rob Ellis, the head coach for the Kamloops Broncos, and Howie Zarin, head coach of the Langley Rams, joining me now as we set up week number two in the BCFC. And uh, before we look ahead, let, let's look back, and I want to get a little feel from both of you guys for your review and your recap of, of week, when, uh, week one. Rob, let's start with you. What did you take away from uh, your team's performance in Kelowna? Uh, that we have a lot of work to do. It was a pretty ugly game on both sides of uh, the ball, so we just need to clean up a lot of stuff and uh, execute, not make mistakes for this game coming up because we're facing one of the best teams in Canada. So, Howie, uh, what about you? What are some key takeaways when you went back and uh, looked at the film for the win against the Raiders? Well, I think we were just uh, a little bit disorganized, you know, and I think uh, that falls on me and my staff. Um, you know, I, I think uh, in points of the game uh, – you know, I think we we're just uh, not really clicking together. So, you know, and that, and that lies on me. So we'll get that fixed. Rob, when I looked at your week one matchup in, in Kelowna and, and that setup, the way that game set up for you guys, I thought, look, maybe this is more about the process than it is about the final score. And it's about how this team, uh, this Kamloops team, puts the pieces together, the compete level, the attention to detail, all those little things. Was that the way you approached it as well as, as hey, we're not focusing on 1-0, 0-1, oh, oh but but this process that we're going through here? Yeah, I mean, we're rebuilding, obviously, after no 10 season. We're, we just want to be competitive. We want to fight, uh, you know, from whistle to whistle to the end of the game. And that's I think the kids did that, uh, you know, minus some of the mistakes. I think they played tough, and uh, that's what I want to see, a gritty football team. And, uh, you know, what, like I said before, I want to make sure that uh, we can be competitive with these teams and give them a good run for their money. Howie, uh, Kalik Johnson, the uh, Offensive Player of the Week, a huge performance for him uh, against the Raiders. And uh, Is this uh, what we're going to see for the, the next nine-plus games uh, from this young man in, in your receiving court? Yeah, I mean, KJ's uh, you know, a, a top-end player, and uh, we're going to count on him going through. I think uh, you know KJ didn't have his best game, to be honest. I know he had three touchdowns, but uh, you know he uh, dropped uh, – he had a fumble and uh, – and um, but also I was very impressed with his blocking. I know that sounds a little weird, but uh, there was a couple times on um, Pockernick's runs where KJ was uh, he was dominating his DB, driving him into the bench. So you know, uh, KJ's a five-star uh, receiver, and uh, we expect him to do at least that, if not more, every game. Rob, do you uh, single out a guy like that when you, when you go through your prep uh, with your team this week and and point to him, or is uh, is it uh, taking a more holistic view than that? <laughs> I guess you have to take a holistic view of uh, Langley. I mean, they have they have ballers in every position, and uh, it's going to be tough to match up. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, uh, we still have to play the game. We have to play tough. We have to believe that we can uh, make some kind of uh, uh, you know positive things happen on the field. So yeah. I know there's a lot going on with the Kamloops organization off the field as well. A lot of turnover there and Kamloops amazing facility in a, in a community. I think that's really supported this football franchise for a long time there. Um, but I read some comments from you a few weeks back in CFJC, just talking about the need to put something on the field. That's going to really reignite the community uh, home opener night. Uh, you got the, this top tier team coming into town. Um, will you t push that message to your players at all? Like, guys, well, let's put something out there that can really get this community fired up uh, behind this club right now. Well, that's that's the idea, right? That's uh, I mean, but we are rebuilding. We are, you know, an average of 19 years of age on our on our, on our team, and it's retaining those players for for seasons to come, so that we uh, can have that ability to be competing with 22 year olds. Um, but you know, it's yeah. You know, after the uh, Sun game, I think there's some excitement in the air. They know they know that with the sun and uh, that does not happen often and uh, you know having the sun and Langley back to back uh, scheduling gods weren't nice to us but uh, we'll, we'll try and fight through that uh, through that uh, discrepancy stuff. Howie um, so you've heard the storylines uh, Kamloops is trying to get some excitement some buzz going in their home opener you guys are one of the best teams in, in Canada and they're hoping to uh, to keep pace and, and keep stride with your group what's your messaging and your storylines going into this game? Well, I think it's simple. Uh, last year when we went up there, um, we barely won and quite honestly should have lost. So, I mean, it'll be a really easy message to our team that, uh, you know, even though a team is rebuilding or maybe doesn't have the talent that we have, uh, if, you take a if you take a team lightly in this league, you're going to end up with an L or at least uh, a lot closer game than it could be. So uh, the message will be it's been a little tougher this time than it was last year. 
guys, I'll put this to both of you. Um, and if, hey, if you don't pay any attention, you weren't looking around, that's fine. You can lie, whatever you want. But uh, outside of your games in week one, what's something that stood out to you from the British Columbia Football Conference, something that caught your eye from some of the other action this weekend, uh, this past weekend? Go ahead, Howie. Uh, for me, I thought, uh, you know, I watched a little bit of the Rebels Huskers game and, uh, Oh, did we lose Howie right in the middle of his great point there? Uh, Rob, I guess that's all, all the pressure back on to you. <laughs> that's funny. I was going to say the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. No, it was uh, the Chile, the Chile uh, um, Rebels game was, uh, was uh, quite surprising. Uh, not so much for the score, but just, you know, how, how intense it was. I watched it, uh, watched the game film. And, uh, and what I like to see in this league is the parody also. So there seems to be more parody this year. Um, and looking forward to uh, all our games in the future. Howie, we lost you for a second there. Do you want to finish your thought real quick? All I was saying is I was uh, happy to see Zach Lubin have success for the Rebels. You know, he was playing running back for them, and uh, I think he had 70 or 80 yards on the ground and a couple touchdowns, so I was happy to see that and excited to see him having some success. Gentlemen, I always appreciate your time and your opinions and your input. Uh, thanks for this, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Adam. Soon, Coach.